Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech LT World. So today we are going to discuss the topic MIB and SIB. So basically to go into the detail uh, of this topic, I have divided this also in uh, two parts. So let's start. System information, SI. So this system information basically consists of two parts. That is MIB, master information block, SIBs, that is the system information blocks. And in ANA, there are two versions of this SIB, system information blocks. That is one being transmitted periodically, that was previous in LT, it is also same, transmitted periodically. And the other one that is transmitted on, on demand whenever UV request. So it basically depends on the UV that you will request for the on demand. Uh, 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 is then only uh, uh, it will be transmitted. So now let's start with the first topic that is MIB master information block. So master information block transmission uh, transmission will always be on BCCS transport channel and PVCS physical channel. And as we already know the periodicity of the master information block will be at TMS. Master information block include the parameters which are required to acquire C1 from the cell and the PVCH is transmitted as a part of SS or a PVCH block. So these are uh, the main points of a master information block. We can also see like the actual payload of master information block occupies 23 bits, but there is one additional bit which is required to indicate the BCCS message type. What, what is the type of basically that BCCS message? So thus the MIB requires total 24 bit. In below table, we can see the mapping of all the bits, how all the bits and number of bits uh, came, the 23 bit. So we can see in uh, this uh, table that we are getting the system frame number, SFN, that, uh, uh, that consists of six bit, subcarrier spacing common, that is one bit, SSB subcarrier offset, four bits, DMRS type A position, one bit, PDCCH config C1, the two, two types uh, they have mentioned, control resource set zero, that is zero to 15 and search space zero, that is also zero to 15, the four, four bits, uh, this both carry cell bar that is the cell is barred or not so that uh, also consider one bit intra frequency reselection that is also of number of bit will be one and spare the bit is that is that will be one the total count is 23 bits as you can uh, calculate this so now we can go one by one what exactly uh, this mib consist of so system frame number it provides the six uh, most significant bits that is msb of the current subframe Cur uh, sorry current system frame number or whatever the current system frame number so it will provide the most six significant uh, bits now subcarry spacing a uh, common so this basically uh, varies uh, depending upon fr1 and fr2 here we can see it's defined the subcarrier spacing to be used for the reception of C1 depending upon FR1 and FR2 and other broadcast, uh, other broadcast system information, paging messages and message to and message for transmitted, whatever the transmitted during the NHL access. Now SSB subcarrier offset, it defines the four least significant bit of the subcarrier offset. Now DMRS type A position. So this is uh, basically the first symbol that is uh, used by uh, this uh, DMRS when uh, use the mapping of uh, ma mapping type A. And this information element is applicable to the DMRS for both PDSCH and PUSCH. Now cell bar. So by name itself, you can say when the UV is not permitted to complete cell reselection, cell selection, not cell reselection onto a cell which is a bar so this column is to indicate about the cell bar or not 
now intra frequency reselection so this is applicable when the current cell is to be treated as a bar so the value is like allowed indicate that the uv is permitted to uh, reselect another cell on the same frequency so these are the basically parameters of uh, uh, mib which carry now we can see the overall mib and sip transmission uh, mapping so here we can see that we have uh, like a flow between uv and g node b so that me will be transmitted from g node b to uv then system type sip type uh, 1 in both the cases periodic and on demand we can see here si request and the system information message on demand here so and the main point here is the me and siva are called a minimum si and we can see the this this is basically the acquiring uh, that this is basically the MIV acquiring and the processing so we can see uh, the MIV and SIB acquisition process this uh, it's it's very uh, on case to case suppose uh, first we will consider uh, like as a case one like no on demand SIB is, SI information uh, is there or there is no any previous SIB is stored so now when the UV is on what will happen and the other case when on demand system information is there so uh, we will see one by one suppose we will consider case one case one we have uh, means no on demand okay so in case one we we, we don't have uh, like on demand as a system information and there is no previous stored sieve so now the when uv is on what will happen when uv will on it will uh, search for the cell pss and sss then pvcs decoding will uh, get to get the mib and uh, the uh, it will store the mib then check it will check that cell barred information so if it is barred then it will stop here and cell barred and if cell barred is not not barred then move to the next process it will move to and decode sip one using the parameter which is provided by the MIB, and it will store the result also here now the case is started as sip one indicate no demands uh, system information so it will decode other system information as per uh, the case as already we have discussed in this case there will be a no on demand system information now if you consider the on demand system information all the thing will go same like when the uv will switch on it will search pss and sss pbscs decoding to get the mib it will decode and store the mib it will check whether it is barred if it is barred then it will be stop if it is not barred it will go for the further process it will decode sieb one using all the parameters provided by whatever we know that and we provide the sieb one information and it will store the result here also as sieb one indicate on demand uh, system information then it will check for the rrc status that if uv rrc status status is idle or inactive state based on that it will trigger uv to the lower layer to initiate the rat process so this is the basic major difference uh, of the two cases on demand and not on demand so here actually uh, up to this we have covered the mib and uh, you can see the slide overview of sib so in next video i will try to uh, cover uh, all sibs so for today uh, i'm stopping my topic so if any uh, recommendation you want to say uh, give or any correction you want to make please let me know inbox me and uh, keep sharing keep studying thanks for today